I'm immersed in a new novel now called 1979, and surprisingly, it's set in 1979. Um, I seem to be alternating um, not only fiction and nonfiction these days, as I get older, I think I need a rest from the one, but I'm also seem to be alternating sort of present tense and past tense with novels. So I wrote a novel called David, which was set in the late 1900s. Then I wrote I Was There the Night He Died, which is the sort of the new novel, which is contemporaneous. And so for this novel, it's fun to go back to a different time period, which for me, I would have been 13 years old in 1979. So there was just something very attractive about the idea of 13 to 14. You know, you're, you are a kid, but you're not really a kid anymore. Uh, obviously, the change in the decade. Also, you think about the political things that were going on. You know, we went from... Um, you know, we went to Carter, to Reagan, and from whoever it was, to Margaret Thatcher, and, and to, to Mulroney, and the whole countries, and the world, sort of the West is turning right. Um, it's just a very interesting time, and where I'm from, southwestern Ontario, Chatham, where the novel is set, um, there were a lot of layoffs in the autom automotive industry, so that changed the whole landscape as well. The town sort of suffered this economic collapse, uh, factories leaving, going, going south, and... Um, People whose whole lives are predicated on the auto industry, like my parents, m my life, my father working in the auto industry. Um, so it just seemed to me a real interesting color, you know. Um, when people ask about, you know, do you have an idea for a new novel? And I rarely do. I usually have a voice, a character. And for this one, it just was a feeling, you know, kind of like a color. Just this real interesting transitional period. The age of the character, um, the time period. And my main, uh, he's, he's the first person narrator. Um, and uh, he's a paper boy and uh, I don't know how I came up with it I wasn't a paper boy when I tell people that they say well I was a paper boy and they give me lots of stories so it's good